I just want it to be over. <sighs> I don't know what to do, guys. Like, I really don't know what to do. I just don't, you know, like. I'm in a pickle. I just don't want to do anything anymore. I want out, you know. I just keep thinking about leaving. I don't even think I want to be out in nature anymore. It's just like I'm over with like humanity. Like they're just so uneducated. They're like so unempathetic. They don't look outside themselves. They're they're just the victim victim blame, you know, it's just every day's the same for no reason. It feels like life's a punishment. It's like annoying being in a world where people are so fucking like rude and like evil you know they're so crazy i was talking to some guy the other day that yesterday that was a muslim and he said that um we we're talking about religion and he said something about um he said he tried to make sense of life like he was like i was like what about shit bad stuff that happens to other people and he was like yes that's them being put through a test he was like and I was like, there's no such thing as free will. So there's no such thing as really like good people. I don't think because like, I feel like you gotta choose. Like, I'll explain it. It's like, not really that many good people out here. There's not, not at all. There's not, it's very rare to find someone that's nice, which is why so many people aren't happy. And so many people's friendships and relationships fails because you know, people are assholes, but um, kind of lost myself with what I was saying. I don't know, it's just, I'm over it, bro. Like, I'm just so tired being here, bro. Cause like, I'm tired. I'm very rageful in a way, like hateful. Cause I hate my parents so much for dropping me in this. It's like, imagine being born to a world that you didn't have to be in and everyone is just, everyone is trying to make it your fault. Like, it's your fault that you're not successful. It's your fault that even though you were brought here as this innocent, vulnerable being, you know, it's your problem to make it in this world. Even if the human before you made all these rules and shit to make it harder for you to make it, you know? You're not supposed to make it. And I'm tired of being around so many people that don't think, that don't, like educate themselves about the fucking world that they're living in or you know i'm just so tired of it i just don't want anything to do with this anymore like i don't want to work i mean that uh, i haven't been working for a while so i just i'm used to not working so now I, i'm in a bit of a pickle because i don't want to work so it's like dude how am i gonna go to work if i literally don't want to get out of bed anymore <laughs> I don't want to work. I don't want to do anything, man. Every day, I don't know. It's been in my apartment all fucking week, and sun goes up, sun goes down. And wake up, and it's another day. And then you go online. You hear about oh, humans in charge over other humans are deciding to ban TikTok because they want to limit the amount of information you can get from other platforms. They want to limit you being able to talk to other people about the real shit that's going on in the world. They want to have control over that app that way that way they can show you what they want to show you. They can censor you the way that they want to censor you, but nobody knows that that apparently is what they're doing because a lot of them are saying yeah ban tiktok tiktok's fucking immature i mean i don't have tiktok but it's like me knowing that that's why they're trying to do it it's like it's so fucking annoying seeing all the people saying yeah ban it yeah it's so fucking stupid it's just um it's just it's the, they're not even paying attention to the fact that if they get to ban this app then they're gonna keep going for whatever other you just it's like what about all the other people that are saying they don't want it banned? Like even if I don't like it, you know, it's like I mean it, it does have some educational shit up on it, but it's like you don't have any rights because they get to ban it if they want to. Like all those people that are saying don't ban it, I have a job on here and shit, and it's like they're still gonna do it because they can. 
But in my head, it's like, but who the fuck are you to be over here taking out a fucking app that a bunch of people still want to have? It's like, you don't, there is no such, it's like because people give all their fucking power away to these people and think that they're just allowed to do what they want to do because they can and because they're powerful and they're the elite. I'm tired of being a part of a world that's like this, you know, like, I'm tired. I don't, I, I, I mean, I don't even... I'm tired of listening to them dumb fuckers tell us that we're depressed or that we, if life sucks so much, why don't you offer yourself? It's like, we're, we really are, the, we, we're victims, you know, and it's like to hear other victims of life, because either they've been indoctrinated or they're just selfish pieces of fucking shit, tell you, because you're talking the truth, like you're saying, like, this shit sucks and we should be free and shouldn't have kids because you just don't want no one to suffer. And then these dumb fuckers will come up to you. And you know the rich people are laughing behind closed doors because they rule over everyone. And they watch this shit. They watch peasants attacking other peasants that are trying to help them out. They watch this person say, oh, shut up. You're just being a victim. Or you just don't want to work. Or you're just lazy. Or how how else are you supposed to live? Or, you know, they just say stupid shit, man. They just say really dumb shit. It's, they just sound so stupid, man. And I'm just so tired of it. And I just want it to end. Really do. Because, like, um. I mean, I'm just here till I'm not anymore, and it's like life is already this fucking difficult for me, then I don't, I don't know. It's like, I want shit to change so bad, I'm not at peace with anything, you know, it's so awful to watch, I'm just fucking, it feels like a punishment, it's like, I, I'm trying to figure out, like, what did I fucking do to deserve any of the stupid shit, man. Like, everything is completely out of my control. You get born here and you can just get fucked over. And even when things are bad for you, no one's going to give a fuck. They'll make it your problem. Like, you see homeless people. People are like, yeah, you're just homeless because you're lazy. How am I supposed to want to live in a world full of dumbasses that say shit like that? So apathetic. How am I supposed to want to live in a world where people keep having kids when they know this shit isn't good? Oh, back to that Muslim guy. He was basically trying to say that, like, it's your fault if you can't come out of the bad shit that you've been put through. Like, you have a choice. And before I even got to anti-natalism, I even said this to somebody and they didn't get it. I was like, um, I was like, I mean, if you've been abused your whole life, you have to be taught right from wrong. So it's just like, how is it? Like, how do I explain this? It's like, you have to be taught right from wrong. And I can understand why someone would want to become an asshole because they've been through so much shit that it makes you want to attack people, you know? I don't know, man. And people are like, no, that's just an excuse. You got to take it. It's just like, I'm tired of being a part of an existence where people are blaming me for the quality of life that I have when it's the fault. The people that should be blamed are the people that are writing all these made up rules and made this fucking like money doesn't mean anything man it's made up and it's tiresome listening to people make shit personal they'll be like well i worked my whole life away or i have this i have that so if i can do it then you can too and you're just it's like i'm tired of i'm tired of it because you obviously aren't going to be able to get through to them um i'm tired of listening to people like i said call it anti-natalist depressed and all evil and psychos and murderers that want us to off all of humanity and that's not at all what we've said they're twisting the words and they're trying to just say it in the most negative way possible to make people quickly turn their nose up at it immediately and be like oh yeah they're the bad guys i'm tired of being a part of a world like this man i just i'm so tired of it man like literally the, living in a world where they're blaming the victim for being the victim. Stop being the victim. Make your life better. Your life's hard because you choose to let it be that way. Oh, your life sucks. Go get therapy. Nobody has shit to say to help you. But that, I keep going on and off that topic of the Muslim guy. Anyway, it's like, yeah, that's all he said. He's like, there is a test that God puts you through. You go through really bad shit. That's just the test. And he said that something about like how in his book or whatever the fuck it says that people that have done bad shit are going to be punished in like a very awful way that was written in the book that he read. 
Uh, it's just they're gonna be punished to the bad way for the bad shit that they've done. But then I'm over here like, well, what about the innocent people that didn't do anything wrong that have to suffer for no reason? And I'm like, I mean, if you think about it, it's like God is God knows everything, so it's like He knows everything that's gonna happen before it happens. So He just even when you're like crying out for help, He knows everything after that that's gonna happen. He knows, but He's not gonna help you. You know, he's not going to reveal himself to you and you dare tell me to just believe in something that no one's ever seen before because you have a feeling or because this has gone right for you in your life when you thought nothing was possible, whatever, that that makes him obviously real. But then it's like, what about other people that have suffered in horrible ass ways that there is no... There is no excuse for their suffering. Like, they suffered for no reason. They were innocent. They didn't deserve it. It's, then you just hear them make up excuses again, and it's like, bro, I'm tired. I'm, I'm over it, you know? Uh, I mean, I'm just over it. I'm really over it. I'm just worn out. I don't want anything to do with this species anymore, to say the least. You have to earn this life. I'm tired of being a part of a life where I'm told that if I want anything ever that I have to allow myself to be a wage slave and work for it. And I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm upset because it's like, damn, my fucking parents should have had their shit together before bringing me here because bringing me here made me an automatic wage slave and then at the end of the day I had to deal with this dumb bitch that made me a wage slave dare say shit like I went through so much for you I had to work this many jobs I clothed you and I fed you it's like no one told your dumb bitch ass to open your fucking legs and get nutted in like I didn't ask to be fucking existing next to someone that's as dumb as you I didn't ask for you to be my fucking dumb mother or whatever the fuck, you know, if I could have picked anybody else, I swear to God, I would. I would have picked to be a fucking amoeba, anything else besides something like you. That's how I look at it when I look at her dumb ass. And every other parent that says stupid shit like that. I'm so tired of being a part of it. I'm living next, I'm living around a bunch of people that are obviously not mentally well. They're obviously not thinkers. They obviously lack empathy. They don't care to think about anything outside themselves. As long as their life is okay and their head's been just above water and they've worked those hours away to get what they got, they don't recognize. And when they say shit like, I had to work three to four jobs, I keep thinking about the people over them that I read it to be like that. And so that's why you had to do that because things are so expensive and, you know, you got, you got, it's just, things cost so much money that you'd have to get three jobs. And it's like, it doesn't click in your fucking head that, you know, like, you didn't question anything. You just, I don't get it. And then you want to sit up here and get mad at me because you had a struggle. And it's like, you brought all this, these problems onto yourself. And it's like, you dare emotionally try to blackmail me and make the victim me. I'm definitely the fucking victim. I didn't ask to be here. You dare, you dare try to make me feel like I'm the problem when it's your dumb ass. That's the problem. It's your, it's your, it's your fault. You know, you're the one that opened your legs and you weren't the critical thinker. It's not my fucking problem. It's not my fucking fault that you're stupid. It's not my fucking problem or my fault that you did all this shit to yourself. You made life harder for yourself because you wanted to distract yourself from how pointless all this shit is. You wanted to have family. You wanted to follow the fucking life script that was written by somebody else. You don't question that. Like, why are you following it? Where did it come from? Why is it there? You don't ask anything. Tired of being a part of a world where if I question anything, people immediately think that I'm crazy because I'm asking questions. I don't know. I don't want to talk to really anybody because nobody's a deep thinker. Like... There's, it's a waste of breath to talk to someone. There's gonna, there's nothing to talk. It's like, I'm, I'm over here like, damn, if people aren't deep thinkers, then well, what the fuck do they talk about? I mean, that's why all their fucking relationships fail. They're, they're so fucking hollow. There's nothing inside them worth getting to know. No creativeness, no individuality. It's a fucking copy and paste of whatever they've learned or whatever they've been told. They're not their own brain. They don't think on their own. They're nothing. There is empty space.
And it's like, I feel like I'm being punished because I'm forced to have to, it's like when you were in school, you got forced to be in that class with all those fucking animals and you had to deal with that for no reason. I sit here and I think about it every day and it's like, man, I just want out. That's all I feel. I, I don't know. This is so tiresome. You know, you pay attention. I see what they're doing. I see prices increasing and no one's questioning it. People just keep adapting. Talking about banning TikTok and it's like people are adapting to that. It's like people are like, oh, well, if they ban it, then we'll just go over to YouTube. Oh, if they ban it, I'll just go over to Facebook. Oh, da 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 You know, it's just like, bro, like, they're not questioning anything deeper than that. Like, guys, things are really bad right now. Why is that their main focus? To, to ban a fucking social media app? To pretend like they actually care about you guys, and they don't. Like, they don't, man. They don't care about any of you. Talking about the security issue or some stupid shit or, or, or people are like, oh, it's brain rot. Get rid of TikTok. You know, and it's like, bro, shut the fuck up. Everything is brain rot. Movies are, a lot of TV shows are, a lot of songs are, a lot of the advertisements are. I can go on down the list. If we're going to fucking attack one app and attack them all. I mean, if you're taking down TikTok, then bitch, you might as well take all everything else down because they're all fucking toxic. So what are we really getting at? And it's like if people could dig a little deeper then they would recognize that they're just trying to limit how y'all... Like people have been apparently opening people's eyes up on TikTok. It's a way for people to network and, you know, communicate and tell people news that they can't get from uh, our, the, the fucking U.S. fucking social media that they fucking be controlling and they censor everything. They put all this stupid ass shit in your fucking face so you can be dumb. And there's so many people that are brainwashed and that are dumb, and um, that's why I said what I said about not wanting to be here. When I see bitches like um, all these just like people that are obviously narcissistic or just don't have empathy for others, having so many followers, so many people that are worshiping them, I just wish I could blow my wig back every time because I'm just over it, you know. I'm tired of just, it's in, it's disappointing to say the least. It's embarrassing to watch so many of this species just act like that. Act like fucking dogs to an owner, you know, just so embarrassing. It's like watching how company simps act. They're just such worshipers. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, I don't want to live in this shit, man. Like. Worshipping people, wishing that, oh my gosh, I could live my life like them. They're so unique and special. Then it's like, bro, they're just human like you, man. They're not connecting the dots. Like, bro, they just, they just never thought. It's like, bro, if you never asked to be here in this existence, don't you think that you should be able to live such a comfortable life just like them? Like, why do they, why do they get to be so special? You really think that they work their ass off to get there? A lot of times they just step on people to get there because it's easier to do. But yeah, that's really all I really wanted to say. I'm done talking. I'm just over it. It gives me like almost a fucking headache. Um, I don't know, man. I just think about it every day. I'm just so over it, you know. I can't talk to nobody. Something so simple as wanting to cuddle. Like, every time I'll be sitting here and I'll be like, Damn, I'd like to cuddle with someone. Damn, I wanted to be fucking nice to just have someone to smoke weed with, eat snacks with, chill and just relax. Maybe we can go on some hikes every now and then. Travel. You know, just be vibing and chilling. You know what I mean? Talking about how fucked up this world is and the shit that we... You know what I mean? That, that'd be so fucking bomb. But no, that's, that's not the kind of people that I keep running into or that I see it, that exists. I just see a bunch of peasants that are... Just, Slaves to the system that are still blind, that'll fight you for hating a, a hating a system that oppresses all of us. And I mean, I don't know. It's so fucking bad, man, in every way. But that's all I really gotta say. I'm done talking now, for real. Hey, thanks for listening to my rant, and um, have a good one if you can. Bye.